The summary truss is a way to summarize our results as we go. So I just sort of quickly recreate the truss that we started with. And so far what we know is member AB is 2020.73, and I'm gonna write tension, T. And we know member uh, AE is equal to 4,041.45. And for this one, I'm gonna write AC, because that one's in compression. So this one's being squeezed together, this one's being pulled apart, and now we're ready to move on to the next joint in our analysis. And I think that joint E is a good candidate, because now that we know this member, there's only two unknown forces at joint E, and that one is possible to solve. And so if you look at joint E, I'm gonna to try to draw all the forces acting at it. There is a 1,000 pound force downward. That was the external force acting directly at joint E. Uh, remember that member DE that's attached to joint E, so we have to draw this member. And we're going to assume that it is also in tension because we always assume tension. And so I'm gonna say that's member DE, that's the force in that member. And there's also member BE, so that member is uh, uh, acting, it has a force that's acting at joint E. And we're also going to assume that that one is in tension, so that's member BE. Now, we do have member AE, but remember, we already solved for that one. We said that member AE was 4,041.45 pounds, but that one was already found to be in compression. Because we already know that this member uh, AE is in compression, we're going to draw it pointing towards the joint rather than assuming its intention and drawing it away because we already found this force, okay? And so I can write that as equal to 4,041.45 pounds. 